There is yet another version of the Omicron variant that could lead to another surge of COVID-19. Tonight, CBS 17 digital reporter Jody McCrary is getting answers about what that surge could look like and what makes this new variant so easy to catch. It's called BA5, and it's on the verge of becoming the most dominant variant across the state. Two local doctors expect it to lead to more cases, but maybe not more hospital admissions or deaths. It's certainly, you know, not another spike like we've seen before. Um, hopefully that trend uh, will continue. UNC doctor David Wall calls it catchy, but maybe not as deadly. So the virus is evolving not to be more lethal, which is great news, but the bad news is it's evolving to be more transmissible. In North Carolina, it accounts for more and more cases each week, from 15% of them a month ago to 38% at the end of June. It's the most contagious variant that we've seen in the pandemic. What makes it so catchy? Doctors say a spike has evolved with the BA5 variant. That makes it easier for it to avoid your antibodies. We're not dealing yet with the situation where this virus has mutated to the point where it's escaping our vaccines. But at-home tests are not a part of our case counts. So is our picture accurate? Officially, we average 3,500 new cases a day. But a projection from the University of Washington says the true number could be at least three times that. We've always known that we may be underestimating COVID-19 even by a factor of 10, even in the best of times. So it's much, much, much worse right now. We have no idea how much COVID-19 is being spread. That raises yet another question. Why is Omicron producing so many variants in the first place? The doctors break down the reason why in this story online. For CBS 17 News, I'm Jody McCrary.